as you may be able to tell from the the debris, the spoils of what should have been a pristine sunboxing, uh, with actual new products. So the Solaris 8 2002 Platform Edition in the box was shrink wrapped and everything. Get into the shrink wrap, wrap. Some technical failures on the video side led to this having to be redone. You know, most of my stuff is always done straight through. But the interesting thing, probably what most of you are interested in, is the actual hardware uh, that came in in the mail. And these are some Ross HyperSpark MBUS modules, two of them. Uh, and let's see if we can get a close-up on the crystal here. Uh, so there's the oscillator, 125 megahertz. Uh, the auction claimed these had the one megabyte cache. The ones I currently have are also 125 megahertz, but only have the 256 kilobyte cache. So these should be significantly faster. Things like open windows and... Uh, other things that are cash hungry. So to that end, please let me know if you can think of any benchmarks uh, that might be good to run. I have a few in mind. I'll probably make a separate video talking about some of the possibilities for benchmarks, where we can benchmark uh, the Spark Station, with different CPU modules, different CPU configurations, uh, the Sun Blade, with the cat over here enjoying the box, uh, different CPU configurations, different systems. So what the classic system, so the, the 1994 system, the 2000 system, or the 99-2000 system, the Sunblade 1000, maybe throw the SGI in there, and also look at what the modern systems are. So what is an AMD, modern AMD processor like? What's a modern Intel processor like? On these benchmarks, uh, both for CPU, and we can also do some I.O. And then this was brand new in shrink wrap. I unshrink wrapped it, of course. So 0202 is the release that will run on the Sunblade. This is the media kit for Solaris 8, which is pretty exciting. Uh, let's open this up and see what's inside. And I'm damaging the box. What I really got it for is the media. So we get Solaris 8 media complete. Um, I had like a partial set of install media, and so I always was short a few packages. Uh, we get some extra software, and this is going to be Sun One and iPlanet, which in their day were not bad, you know, web servers, directory servers, all that stuff. So this is actually kind of cool and might be interesting to look at from, hey, what did enterprises run in 2000 to do a, a web server uh, before uh, Apache really fully took over back when there were other options uh, besides open source web servers uh, for real contention get some bonus Oracle software. Uh, that's a that's a laugh talk about other things that are um, kind of been supplanted by open source. I know a lot of places still run Oracle, but there are better options out there in open source that I don't think anyone cares about Sun Management Center. And then we get a lot of books. I'm not going to pull out all the books, um, but we'll take a look at a few of them. We have the Advanced Installation Guide. This may be very interesting. Uh, some details on things like network installations, etc. The Sun Enterprise 1K, uh, or 10K, sorry, installation guide. I wish I had an Enterprise 10K, although I don't think I'd want to pay for the power utilization. And we get the hardware platform guide, uh, which I think will also be a good read. To be honest, I have not looked at any of these books ever. Um, Solaris was always just so easy to install and configure. Uh, there was never really a need. And the cat is having a good time with a peanut. Let me get that out of his his clutches. And uh, of course, we my uh, my lovely wife, who is doing the videography here, decided we should include <laughs> her new toy, which is the flow book for paper lovers, uh, into the box since it fit. Flip through. And this has a myriad of, of paper options and. Uh, many, many fun pages uh, for crafting and other purposes. So leave a comment below if you have any ideas for benchmarks uh, and if you have any memories of the Solaris 8 days uh, from the start of the new millennia here.